Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Good Books and Media. I'm Selena Drake, and I'll be your host for this evening. In the spirit of Halloween, I'd like to read an excerpt from you from my Paranormal Horror series. This is titled The Lie, and it is featured on every single one of the Aeon Files, my best-known series. There is an ancient lie still spoken in every language in every nation on Earth. There are no such things as monsters. If you believe the lie, here is a word of caution. Stop reading right now. Believing the lies is your only camouflage. Your ignorance protects you from them. But the very moment you realize the creatures you from your nightmares aren't just stories, but real, live monsters, well, that's when they have you. That's when the true terror begins. Few cows realize that there are beings in this world who predate the Roman Empire, the pharaohs, Mesopotamian, even humanity itself. They've gone by many names. Apparition, fiend, demon, monster, spook. There are some who are revered for their wisdom and benevolence, and we came to call them angels or gods. Others have a darker nature, and we were witness to their evil and malice and name them devils and demons. But no matter what you choose to call them, the fact remains these creatures exist. And they used to exist everywhere. Dwelling in the deepest caves, roosting atop the highest mountains, walking the vast plains and scorching deserts, soaring the empty skies and lurking in the deep dense forests, swimming the swiftest rivers and slurring deep in the endless icy seas. Perhaps that was before mankind swept across the globe and claimed it for its own, before the rise of the church and the endless holy wars that threatened to destroy these creatures for good. The Cowans almost succeeded. In the beginning of the 18th century, a secret worldwide partnership between man and monster was forged, and the power of the lie was renewed. The next several decades saw a decline in public awareness of the realm of the paranormal. By the dawn of the 20th century, almost every living human believed that monsters were merely the fruit of frightening stories told to scare children into good behavior. Eventually, these so-called stories evolved into the monsters of literature and the silver screen, fading from the collective unconscious almost entirely. But the real monsters refuse to fade away. They persist, and they walk among you. The paranormal, for that is their true name, could be anybody. Your neighbor, the person behind the counter at your favorite coffee house, your teacher, your child's imaginary friend, a lover, or a hated enemy. I know this because I'm one of them. Since you've read this far, I am now present you with a choice. Keep believing the lie, or accept everything I just told you and pretend not to notice the subtle lights that portray even the craftiest horror stroke. The trick of the light, or a twitch of the shadow. The sudden chill that shoots up your spine. The canes in the air. The feeling of unseen eyes watching your every move. I promise, when it happens, you'll know. And you wish you did. But there is a third option, open to only a select and secret few. If you believe that you, yourself, are a parathrope, one of us, I implore you to seek me out. Don't hesitate, the cowards already know of your existence. You can find me in a sanctuary with my secret archive, an archive called the Aeon Files. I'll be waiting. Jinx. Jinx is actually the main character of the Aeon Files, and in this little excerpt I read for you, she's inviting anyone with parasocial powers to come to the Aeon Agency and be hidden away. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Uh, I'll probably have more in the future for you, but until then, have a great night and happy Halloween.